Hey there, beautiful friends. Call here. And look what today is. Today is Bargain Bee Box Day. Um, I'm super excited because Bargain Bee Box Day was supposed to be Friday. And so we are two days early. I'm super duper excited. Let me just bring you up a little bit. Yeah, so let's go ahead and look at our fine words of wisdom for the day. When was the last time you did something for the first time? It's an interesting question. Very thought-provoking. Uh, for me, it was yesterday uh, when I made stretch bracelets for the first time on camera. And if you guys saw that video, all 58 minutes of it, you would know that it was a dumpster fire. But here we are. We lived through it. I did it. Today is a new day. I'm feeling great. The dumpster fire has been put out. So yeah, you know, just ask yourself that. When is the last time you did something for the first time? And if it's been a while, maybe you should change that, you know? Okay. So guys, let's get into it. Pow, pow. There she is. So Bargain Bee Box, what this is, is a monthly beading subscription. It comes with gorgeous gemstones, crystals, high quality findings, charms, all kinds of goody, yummy, beady stuff. Um, pretty much most of the main components you, you need to make gorgeous, gorgeous sets. All you really need sometimes are findings. And even then we get really nice, like, starter findings, which is always nice if you're just starting out. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, the palette changes every month. It's a different theme every month, different color of like metals and things like that. It's just, it's fabulous. There's, look, there's a hair stuck to it. What is happening here today? It's, is it my hair? I'm sorry. Was that out loud? I don't know. I'm, I'm crazy. I got a little weak stomach sometimes. I'm not sure if it was my hair, but we're going to continue. Uh, and we're just going to move on because that was unpleasant for all of us. So let's go ahead and open this. Um, like I said, this this subscription is just absolutely, it's my favorite. I'm not, I, I have two favorites. This is one favorite. Um, but this is definitely the most affordable beading subscription that I think is out there on the market, guys. It's under $23 a month. That was a horrible open job. I, I'm not, I didn't have my little letter opener. Not, I don't know. It was, in my defense, it was, it's, it's a little askew. So, so I had a little issue. Anyway, uh, yeah. So um, under twenty three bucks, it's like twenty two and some change. Uh, we get this sent to us every month, and a different theme, all the good stuff. I'm gonna pull the paper out real quick because sometimes you won't even look like a ninja. Because sometimes, oh, and I'm glad I did because the code was on the top, and I don't need to be getting yelled at. Okay, my life is stressful enough. Thank you very much. All right, let's take a little peek. It comes in this lovely tissue, little tissue paper. We're going to unfold. Now, I do know because over there in the Bar Bargain Bee Box uh, YouTube channel, which I will link in the description, as well as if you have never seen it, the Bargain Bee Box, or if you're not a member yet, and this looks like something for you, I'll put the link for this how to subscribe and also how to speak English because I'm not doing a great job with that. But anyway, also, guys, it's super exciting because I do have an affiliate code. Uh, it is C O L L two. So call two will get you two dollars off of your first box, or if you're already a member um, and you haven't shopped at their sister store yet, which I will also link in the box because I'm just groovy like that. Uh, you can save two dollars off your first order. But over there in the bargain B box world of YouTube, ooh, oh my God, it's so pretty! I knew we were going to have a lot of green tones because they have spoilers, and the spoilers were, I believe, moss agate this month. We have this gorgeous white bag. Look at all of these greens. And there is reds in here, but I feel like this is not overly Christmassy. I feel like it can be Christmassy if you want it. So I love that because I, I'm not about Christmas themed bags. I just, I don't love it. Like, I feel like if you want to get Christmas themes, then you just go out and get Christmas stuff. I don't necessarily want to get it in a subscription box. So I'm kind of glad that they went this route. So it can be either or. Come see, come saw, whatever you want to do. All right, so let's go ahead and read this paperwork as we as we drool over these beads. So this month we are looking at boughs and berries, and I think this is beautiful because, like I said, it can be construed as holiday, but it can also. I do think we have like tree charms though, um, but I'm going to tell you they're really, really super cute, and I don't mind them at all. So, um. Deck the halls or sim simply celebrate the natural beauty of winter with a festive selection of deep evergreens, 
Berry Reds in Icy Clear Accents, starring Moss Agate, Tree Agate, Green Tiger Eye. Oh, that sounds amazing. And Red Jasper. You had me at hello. Uh, this collection also includes gorgeous glass and sparkling crystal, plus a selection of silver finished and stainless steel charms and findings. That sounds amazing. Uh, like I said, there is a 30% off coupon, which is fabulous over at their sister store. And when I tell you it is the real MVP, I joke, I, I kid you not. Also, here's some information. There's their little information about contest and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's over in the Facebook group. I will also link that because I'm the best. And then on this other side, we have our list of in content of ingredients. We have 22 items. Guys, did I mention that this box is under $23? I'm not sure if I said that, but 22 items. Are you kidding me? They're telling us that it is $97.78. Ooh, that's my husband. He's, I think he's pulling in with sushi. Today is Wednesday, which means it's sushi night. Uh, so I might just have to pause real quick if he, because sometimes he comes in here with his foul mouthery and I'm just not having it today. But let's look at this gorgeous collection. They said we have 22 items. Um, Bargain Bee Box, they're so thoughtful that they come, the bags are already labeled. So you can go down the list or you can do this. I think we're just going to do real cash today. I think I'm just going to sort the beads to the side and then the findings. And then we'll just go over the beads first and then we'll look at the findings. But we're going to do real cash. Uh, we're going to open bags if that's not your thing. I'm sorry. Um, I just feel like that's how we're going to do it today. Oh, I did want to shout out real quick before I have to pause this. Um, you guys, I want to shout out to the gorgeous and beautiful Miss Sandra. Uh, Miss Sandra, reading your words today, Miss Sandra left just the most beautiful, beautiful comment on one of my, uh, on my video from yesterday. And it, it just... It made me feel so, just so good about myself. And I want to thank you for um, just providing me with that kind of inspiration and motivation because it's reading, it's reading comments like yours that really let me know that I'm doing the right thing, you know, that I'm on the right path, that I'm reaching people because the jewelry is great, right? The beads are great. The jewelry is great. That's basically why most of you are here. But my inner mission, my inner mission is about just trying to spread some positivity out there for you guys, you know, for the world, because we need it. And I know I'm just one little insignificant human being, but if, if a whole bunch of us got together and we all just kind of created this just wall of love and peace and kindness and kind of, sh you know, threw it out there in the world, how much of a difference would that make? I mean, I think it would be amazing. So yeah, so we got, guys, we got to stay together, right? We got to keep with our tribe mates and we know who we're supposed to be with. We know what we're supposed to be doing. So I'm just, just reading your words though, Miss Sandra, so amazing. And I, I just, I was just so touched and I just wanted to tell you, and I did, I didn't write it in the comment, but um, I, I believe in you. And I think that if you're going to start a channel, it will happen when you're ready. But I, I am so positive that you will do so amazing. Um, and I am always here to support you. If you need anything, I'm, I'm here to support you and I will be, I will back you a thousand million hundred percent. I promise you. All right, let's get into these beads. So let's put our findings to the side and look at our beads first. Now we have, um, I want to look for the main, the main bead here. I want to look for the main dude, the star of the show, uh, because, oh, here she is. He is whoever, whoever they want to be. Ooh, look at that. So this is our moss agate pendant. So guys, we, I, I understand we have two gemstone pendants this month. So, um, this is your donut pendant. Oh guys, notice I brought out the mar the fancy marble background. Cause I just knew this was going to be a classy collection, but, uh, let me just go ahead and Watch out, the bead mat out. There we go. I promise it's not snot, it's glue. I promise. All right, so let's look at our, oh, she's so pretty. Now, guys, this is a natural, natural gemstone. So yours will vary. Some of you guys will have a, a more opaque, like this is totally solid, not translucent at all. Some of you might have one that's more translucent. Some might have more white than green or opposite there might even be some brown in yours this is kind i'm not gonna lie this is exactly the one i wanted i wanted one that had a lot of green and white and this is just absolutely stunning i did want to say too because i read that somebody wrote about last month's pendants they weren't crazy about their pendant uh somebody commented in the group i just want to let you guys like i understand this was my pendant from last month 
And I mean, I wasn't crazy about it at first because I really wanted one that had the browns and stuff. But honestly, my friends, these pendants, like they've come a long way to find you. Um, and all you really have to do is just look at them because they all have a story to tell you. Um, like this guy looking at him, he kind of reminds me of a beautiful like winter morning. This is almost a tree that is bare and you've got your like grays and this could kind of be a line where and this is the water that's kind of reflecting the tree. Like can you kind of see that story like a winter pond at like at dawn when you're out walking your dog and it's just so peaceful and it's quiet and it's just nature. That's what that it tell and after that after it told me this story, I just absolutely fell in love with my pendant. So guys, I'm sorry to go on my soapbox. But I'm just saying these guys are naturally formed. They're amazing. They all have stories to tell. And I understand if you're not crazy about yours. Like I said, you know, it happens. Um, but just listen. Listen, it will tell you a story. And then maybe you'll change your mind. Anyway, so yeah, so this is just absolutely gorgeous. So let's move on. Because <laughs> sushi is on the way. Sushi is on the way. Oh, look at those. So next we're going to look at a uh, six millimeter tree agate matte round beads. This is 15 inches. So this is a nice, nice strand. Wow. Look at how pretty those are. You got those really, really nice whites and creams. Look at that one. Look, that one's clear. Then you even got some little brown um, colors in here. Oh my, look at that one. Just, oh, there you are. I'm sorry like little veins. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm sorry if I was off camera. I was so enthralled with. I always like to look at my strands and just look. I like to look at every single bead and pick out like my favorites. That's just something I do. I don't know. But that goes really, really pretty together. Love it, love, love. And now we have a little bit. Ooh, is this the green tiger eye? Six millimeter green tiger eye dye heated round beads, seven inches. These are beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that green. That's, I don't know. I've never seen green tiger eye like this. I've seen the blue and the purple, um, but that's, I've never seen the green. Those are beautiful. I love that shade of green. That's gorgeous. Um, oh, and here we have some darker seed. Now I like, because if you did have a darker pendant, these are going to go really great with your darker pendant. Um, these will, these will also, the three of these, I will probably use in one design because they go so well. Um, but if you had a lighter pendant, then you, you know, these would be perfect as like a main bead. And then maybe you could use the darker ones as an accent bead. Oh, I didn't even read the bag. I'm just so, I'm so in designer mode right now. Uh, this is eight millimeter moss agate, 15 inches. These are gorgeous. Be look at that one. Beautiful, dark, darker green, much darker than, uh, than the matte ones. Love those. So pretty. Like, look at this. Let me bring you up a little bit. Look at this palette already. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing some glowy stuff here. 10 millimeter moonstone glass, man-made frosted round beads, seven inches. I'm not a huge fan of these mermaid style beads. These are really pretty though. These are, these remind me of like, like little icy snowballs. They're gorgeous. Um, but I have a friend, Kathleen, if you're watching, um, I usually send her a lot of my, um, my mermaid glass beads because I'm just not crazy about them. But these I'll be keeping. I'm sorry to tell you, Kathleen, because they're absolutely stunning and they go so well with this. This is to me, this is like a winter morning in the, you know, in Pennsylvania where I want to be more than anywhere on earth. Okay, moving on. We have uh, eight, uh, 8.5 by 8 millimeter crystal faceted barrel beads, 11 inches. This is frosted mint green. Guys, I'm a sucker for the barrel beads that they get over there. Oh, my word. Can you see that? Look, that is so frosty and icy. I don't know if I've ever seen any of the barrel beads with this kind of finish before. It's like, it's very matte in texture, but it has some of this half plating here of the AB. Wow, that is a stunning strand of crystals. I would love to, they probably do have them over there at the sister site in different colors. 
Um, I'm a little bit on a budget right now, so I won't be going over. I, I have to be, I, can't, I have to be strong, you know, I have to be strong. So I've been staying away from there, but I did see that they had a video where they were uh, putting all their new products in and the video was like an hour long, y'all. I was like, oh my God, that's so many products. I just want to go and look, but then I feel bad because I can't buy anything. Um, and it's, you know, it is what it is, but Ooh, oh, these look kind of familiar. I think we might have had these before in a box, but I'm not complaining because it's a gorgeous color. Um, this is six millimeter matte glass round in holly berry. It might have been a little bit of a different red color, but yeah, I think the one I'm thinking of was just a little bit more purple, but this is just a beautiful, again, matte, beautiful matte red bead. So you can kind of make this a little more holiday oriented if you want, but you don't have to. I just, it's gorgeous. I'm in love. Okay. And we still, guys, we still have a couple more bags. Oh, here's another bag of gemstones. We got here four millimeter red jasper. Oh, love me some red jasper. <laughs> Faceted round beads, seven and a half inches. Look how gorgeous these little babies are. Super faceted. So they're so sparkly. It always amazes me how they can take such a tiny bead like this and create so many facets. It's just, it's magical. Truly, truly magical. Love these beads. Um, I used to be really intimidated by these tiny little beads, but not anymore. I absolutely love the baby beads. Okay, next we have a, oh, we have some crystals, four by three millimeter crystal faceted rondelles and crystal AB, 16 inches. This is going to be a, a bucket ton of beads. Oh, so, oh, they have that Aurora Borealis look too. Oh, my husband's home. Hold on, let me make sure he doesn't come out with his foul mouthery. Okay, so wow. So I'm noticing there is a lot of matte beads in this collection this month, and I am so here for it. Look at those babies. And it looks like we are not getting our bicones this month. These are gorgeous. I would love these in a bunch of different colors as well. This is like, oh my God. I know at the beginning I said I didn't like Christmas jewelry, but this is Christmas morning. This is Christmas morning and it's making me feel so good. All right, so now we have two pieces of 10 millimeter lampwork glass round beads and evergreen. Oh my goodness. I love these glass, glass lampwork beads because they're so... First of all, they're handmade, and they're so just perfect. Look at those little dots. Can you see? Do I, oh, I, you know, I didn't even get the dish out for anything. I feel dishless. I don't even know if the dish helps that, to be honest. I think it's too deep. I think it's a deep dish, and I need to get a shallow dish. But those are stunning. Do you look like little f frog eggs? They're so, they're so cute. Definitely screaming earrings here. Oh, and here's our other gemstone pendant. So this is a 28 by 18 moss agate kite pendant. And mine appears to be super dark. Wow. Almost looks like onyx. That's pretty though. Very dark. It does really almost look black. See what I'm saying, guys? Sometimes we all get, and yours might look different than that. And, um, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. It's beautiful. It's going to tell me a story. And I'm going to love it. And I'm going to fall in love with the story. So, yeah. Love that. All right. Oh, we do have bicones, guys. I spoke too soon. I love the bicones. I don't mind the bicones. I kind of have a little low-key bicone collection, if I'm being honest. Oh, we have more beads, too. I just totally... Oh, my gosh. That's right. I remember... I remember these from the... Hold on. Those are going to be real special. Oh, these are bicones. They're triangles. Oh, my. I'm just so excited. I'm just... Calling... Oh, Wow. <laughs> what do you see that sparkle this i want this i want this in everything can we make i know lauren can make that happen i want this in everything holy smokes like i don't just mean beads like i mean in my life like can i get a cell phone like this can i get like a bed and a couch that looks like this i mean i want it all can i get shoes can you imagine shoes like this oh stunning absolutely stunning this collection is gorgeous. I cannot wait to get into it. Now we have these uh, six piece of 10 millimeter rhinestone beads in garnet red. I think I've heard some people also refer to these as Shambhala beads. I don't know if that's correct, but I think it sounds really cool. So I'm going to say they're Shambhala beads because I like the way it sounds. It's very exotic. And these are a gorgeous, like, hello, Dorothy, ruby slipper. 
Is that not Dorothy's ruby slipper? Oh my god. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little skosh darker than the ruby slippers, but those are gorgeous. All kinds of, <laughs> all kinds of amazing. And you get a couple of those. I want like a couple dozen more. All right, so let's get it. And I see our findings are silver this month. So we have a 34 by 21 stainless steel evergreen pendant. And guys, that stainless steel, that's the good goods. You know, that's the one that doesn't tarnish as much or hardly ever. Um, it's just beautiful quality. That's gorgeous. You know, you could do uh, you could do some kind of maybe wire wrapping if you're into that sort of thing. That would be a beautiful focal. Especially if you have one of these that has a lot of the green and the white. That would be gorgeous. Next we have uh, corrugated round spacer beads. You get 10 grams. And these are just really cute little very functional. Very functional spacer beads. And the little round ones got the corrugations there. Uh, just very classic. Um, love these kind of spacer beads. They're a very classic spacer bead. Um, and if you go onto the site, you will more than likely find these kind of spacer beads in all the metal colors. So I like to go over there and do that. Like I'll buy two bags of each color and then I'll put them all, all together in a little um, jar. And that's kind of my go-to spacer. And I love smaller spacers like this. I much prefer a smaller, daintier spacer uh, than a large, chunkier spacer. But sometimes the chunky spacers, they have their, they have their places. Um, so now we're, I'm not going to fat shame. Uh, so now we're doing three sets of 17 by 15 reef toggle clasps. And these are going to be really pretty. They have this lovely like wreath texture, both sides, I believe. Yeah. And let's look at the toggle bar. Um, because sometimes it's a, a problem. Toggles can be a problem for some people because the bars are shorter than the toggle. And that's a, that's not a bad, that's not a bad fit. I think that would be fine for necklaces. It's not a short bar. It looks like it fits in there fine. It's not a terribly oversized long bar, but I think that's a, I don't think that's a, I think that's a decent compromise. I think you're, I think that's pretty safe. I think you're going to be okay with those guys. I'll listen. I will tell you the truth if I didn't think so. Oh, now we got some bead caps. We've got some 20 piece seven by five mini cone bead caps. So they're not going to look like hats. They're going to look like cones. <laughs> I love a good cone bead cap. Sorry, running out of room. Um, and these are really nice and small. They're a dainty cone. I think they're, these are going to be perfect for some earrings. Um, you could also use these as ends to a cord or, um, you know, maybe use some of these with some, I don't know if there's any silver silk. I think you probably, these might be small enough to work with the silver silk mini pipe chain. I think these would be really cute to uh, finish off some pipe chain. If you don't want to use them as bead caps, I, I, t I tend to not use a lot of bead caps in my design. I don't know why. Um, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what bead caps did to hurt me, but uh, I don't know. Uh, so next we have a 10 pieces of holly leaf charms. These are 14 by 12. And guys, all this, uh, all this literature here is uh, lead free, nickel free, cadmium free, and most of their metals are all of those things. And Lauren is very, very honest. If she's not a hundred percent sure that the metals are free, then she will not label them with all that. She's she's very diligent about that. I love. They have great customer service. They're just an amazing, amazing company. Um, I know I've been with them for several years now, and I just they're the one B box that I will just I'll sacrifice a meal for them to make sure that I, I get it for the next month. You know what I'm saying? G your girl is sacrificing meals if I have to. All right. So these are some little, looks like one-sided. No, they're two-sided. Yep. These are little double-sided charms, little holly berry charms. When I say that, I feel like I'm saying holly berry, holly berry. Um, but those are just stinking cute, stinking cute. Love those. Next we have, oh, here's one of our, um, 24 by 10 millimeter stainless steel pine tree oval. I did see this in the spoiler video. Uh, so if you want to see spoilers, they will they will put up a spoiler video a couple days before the boxes go out. And you can make that decision. That is stunning. 
That is a beautiful, beautiful little charm with these laser cuts that just make it sparkly. And it's very smooth. Like, look, it's like glass. Look how smooth that is. And it's stainless steel, guys. So it's the good, good. I promise. Um, again, you could do a little if you wanted to wire wrap something there, maybe. But I really do. I really love this idea. I, I wish I was a good wire wrapper because if I was, that's what I would do. But and it's not one of my better skills. But listen, I'm always learning, right? Well, I, I've never backed away from a challenge yet. So here we have one meter of 3.5 by 2.5 stainless steel knurled. Is that the word? Knurled? Gnarly. That's gnarly. Anyway, knurled oval chain. Let's look at this. And stainless steel, guys. The good, good. It's a very dainty chain, but it's a very sparkly chain. It has, I don't know if you can see, it has those little cuts in it. Like those little diamond cuts that make this very sparkly. And the fact that it's stainless steel and it really won't tarnish much, you know, people are not going to know that's not silver. I mean, don't don't be putting it in your shop and labeling it sterling silver. I'm just saying if you're wearing this, you know, people, people, what, yeah, this could look like sterling silver. Absolutely. Absolutely. They'll never know. They'll never know. Okay. Next we have, oh, these are just luscious. Uh, four pieces of 38 by 17 mistletoe branch links. You know your girl likes a good link. We like a good link. These are some beefy girl links. These are nice. Did we say they were stainless steel? I just read it. I just read it and I don't even remember that quick. I don't know. What did I say? Mistletoe. No, they're, they, it doesn't say that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. These are cute. They look like little laughing, smiling branches. But... Hmm. They are, they are double-sided. So you could do maybe some kind of little situation, maybe a little situation like this. We could maybe, we could maybe connect these two. Are they double-sided? Here we go. We could connect these two here with an eye pin and some beads and do, I don't know, we could do something, but those are cute. I'm going to be honest. These are like a little bit of a challenging shape for me little bit I don't but I'm gonna I'm gonna come up with something interesting I think I feel like in my soul I will come up with something interesting all right guys we got one more thing to look at oh that's so pretty oh I remember this this is your stainless steel wreath this is 22 millimeters I remember Lauren oh that's just so pretty that's so pretty she did this oh that would be gorgeous too wouldn't it you could do um, you could do the wire wrapping here, and you could put the little triangles, maybe, since we don't have the bicones, and wire wrap, you know, like, like so, and just do it like halfway, and then that would be so pretty. That would be really pretty. All right, guys, so there is your 2024 uh, November Bargain Bee Box, and you know I forgot what it's called, Bows and Berries, Bows and Berries, there she is. Guys, if you are new to Bargain Bee Box, again, I will leave all that information in the description box. And yeah, but absolutely gorgeous collection. Lauren, this is amazing. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go have some sushi. You guys have a great day, and uh, yeah, keep planting the beans. Love you. Bye.